In this section, I want to point out some reasons why we'll create our own custom components instead of using these built-in components. They seem to be working fine, but in fact, they have a major issue. And at the time of this lesson, there's no workaround, or at least I haven't found one. One of the big issues, if I don't input anything in these two fields, and I click the sign in button, my app crashes. That's not good. We have the same issue with sign up. Not only that's not good for your user, but this would fail app store submission. So we have to fix that. And the best way to fix that, we'll create our own custom component. It'll give us some other advantages and flexibility as well. So just to kind of demonstrate a working form. On this one, as you can see, the button is disabled until I start typing. Now it's enabled. If I click it, it gives me a valid error and the user is happy, they know what to do. So we'll do something similar on sign in and also on the sign up. Another issue with these, if I type in something with a valid error, We'll display a valid error, great. But if I leave and go back to sign in, form clears, error doesn't clear. This error should have cleared, so we'll fix that as well. And then also the custom component will give us the flexibility to design and customize error. Also, the custom components will not only allow us to customize our errors, but we'll be able to style and design our forms as we like. All right, so in the next section, we'll start by setting up our custom sign up. Let's get started.